Hi guys, so today's video I am going to show you how to display images in HTML and images that are in folders and subfolders. So I've created a folder called YouTube and that's on my desktop and I've got four images in this folder. So I'm going to go straight into Notepad++ and I'm going to create my HTML document by setting language H HTML. going to open up the HTML tag and close it. We'll just quickly create a head for good practice and we'll give it a title as images and we'll close the title tag off. And then we'll open up the body section and we will close that off. I'll write a h1 tag really quickly just in case people are new here. I have made a whole video on um, HTML tags so I suggest you go watch that. So we're going to open up an image tag and we're going to go image s rc equals we'll leave it blank for a minute we'll do alt equals width equals and height equals and we will go ahead and close off that tag now for these pictures they are all quite big in size i haven't really scaled them down in photoshop or anything so i'm just going to forcefully scale them so they all fit on the page just to make it visual for you guys. So I'm going to set it to 250. However, you should right click on the image, select properties and go to the details and find out your pixels height and width and then put them in. But just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to use 250 on them all. Now I'm going to copy this piece of code so to type it out and I'm going to paste it four times in total because I have four images. And we will go ahead and start. So in this bit here, you're going to want to put the image name and location. So we're going to call this one bird.png because I have bird.png. It needs to be exactly the same. So if it was an uppercase B, you have to use an uppercase B. Alt means alternative text. So this is really useful for any visually impaired users or people whose pages don't load fully. Then it just displays the alternative text. So it's descriptive language just to describe the image. So we're just going to quickly put cartoon image of a bird. And that is it. Now I'm going to just do it the same for all of the other ones. So we have lion, moose and penguin. So we have lion.png. We have moose.png and we have penguin.png and then I'm going to go ahead and do file save as and I'm going to save this in my YouTube folder that I created where all of my images are. I'm going to go ahead and call this index.html. I'm going to save type as html and save and when we run this we have four images. However, all of the images are in the same folder as our HTML code. So if I go ahead and make a folder now called images, and I go ahead and put these three images inside the folder, like so. So now we go back to our code, and here we do forward slash images, and then we do forward slash YouTube, and we put two dots because that means it is two forwards ways up and we need a forward slash there. So if I go ahead and copy all of that now and save and launch this in Chrome, our images are still displayed. So what I did there was my two dots are because it is two folders down, one, two. If it was three, you would have three dots. If it was four, you would have four dots. First folder is the folder that I called um, the folder that's storing all of the HTML, which is YouTube. As you guys see there, it's YouTube. So it's on my desktop. It's called YouTube. I then created a folder called Images, which is this one here. So now if I decide I want another folder to go down in, and we call this Sub Images. And just for this case, we're going to move the penguin and the lion into this folder. So I'll quickly show you what I mean. First folder, YouTube. So we've got a code for images with the moose, sub images with those two. We go back here to the moose and the penguin 
um, piece of code for the image. And at the end here, we just write sub images and we do forward slash. Like so. We click save and we run that in Chrome. And they've not worked. Why have they not worked? Lion and penguin. Uh, that's why, because I've done the wrong one. So there we go. Sorry about that, guys. I should have remembered that. There we go. So it now works. So that's the tutorial all over. Remember to put in your alternative text in each of um, the images. This is just a video to show you how you can quickly use images in folders. It's really useful to put them in folders because it keeps them all nice and organized. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and you found it useful. If you need any help, drop a comment down below and I'll be sure to reply. Any suggestion videos, drop a comment down below and I will try and do them as well. Thank you for watching guys. Bye.